What is up everybody, Scape211 here, and we're gonna be talking about the new buffs that we got for Cheetah. Yeah, I had a video I was planning on doing um, for Disc Launcher, but because all this has happened with Cheetah, I mean, we, we gotta talk about this, and we're kinda gonna revisit uh, this, and maybe that is a good in the future, but um, this is kinda gonna be a, a quicker review of it, and then I may do a more lengthy review later on. But yeah, as everyone has said, he's got quite a significant damage buff to his mines and an HP buff, and both of these are a pretty big deal. His HP now is gonna sit high um, around same level ranks uh, than kill shot or Zephyr. So both of my kill shot and Zephyr I think are higher right now because they are maxed. Let me see here. Yeah, it's um, 71k. And Cheetah's right now is about 60. I think it said. Uh, yeah, well, it's gonna be 60 once I once I hit that. But once I get this max, it's gonna be higher, which is crazy to think about in the first place as a light mech to be higher than those medium mechs. And uh, yeah, his his ability damage is what is gonna shine. I mean, that's gonna be massively better. Obviously, it, his his ability was pretty strong in the sense of it was the highest damage potential out of any ability but it wasn't really you know raising any red flags stopping any shows a lot of people would just walk over mines now man these things are going to have some big booms it's going to be pretty impressive so um you know i've, I've taken it for a spin i got a couple matches i will show you and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about this overall so here we go all right doing some 5v5 got little miss trouble with me and we're just going to hit some AI here. I'm actually going to drop this and switch over. I should be able to survive the whole map with this. And I, I find that I need to start on this side with Cheetah. I've played this one, this map, a few different times with Cheetah. I haven't much because I honestly don't play Cheetah much. But this spot right in here tends to be my best uh, best spot to be in. Especially when I can drop mines. Be it's, it's aggressive in terms of being close to their spawn. But it's usually the best for... Um, getting some mine damage in especially now with the heavier mines i'm hoping i'm just going to get some nice big booms here as we get some of these guys although i don't have anybody right now let's see peek around here oh there's a brick house there oh okay i was gonna say wow there's another guy right in my face never mind <laughs> tea and sympathy at least he was a, a a friendly oh no 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 oh we got that okay i was gonna say we we got a long arm zephyr on the other side gotta watch out for that uh, it doesn't quite reach jungle to jungle. Dang it. All right. We'll, we'll take him out with the... Oh, no. Maybe he'll get... All right. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Killing stuff pretty well. I think we got that brick house, too. Here's an Ares. I don't know if he's going to pop over, though. It doesn't look like it. Another brick house. Nice. All right. Oh, he is coming up. Let's get him. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah. He fell on one of the other ones. Good. Good. Surprised he walked by that other one the first time. Did we get that? No, not quite. Not quite get that guy. Ooh, here comes another guy. Ooh. He's got disc launcher. And notice that. They, we got the AI now. They got the disc launcher eights. Gotta watch out for those. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. If you can drop the mine right on the Ares, too, you can bypass the shield. I'm loving that. I don't know if you're in the front, though. If you're like an Ares and you're in the front, if you're able to. Oh, not quite. If you're able to um, block the mine damage with your frontal shield. I know Juggy will take the shield, but I don't know if Ares can at all. Oh, speaking of Juggy. Man, oh. We didn't get the kill on that, but you can see it took took some nice chunks out of him. That's quite good. All right, we're going to do the same. Make sure we get on that other side. We should be able to get in the same position and cause some havoc. Here we go. Let's push up, push up. Come on. Just trying to get up there quick enough. All right. Well, thankfully, everyone had the... Ah, oh, I got zeft. Thankfully, everyone had the stasis beam to start, so I was I actually survived. I've played a little bit with Cheetah today, and it feels a little hit or miss, you know? I mean, it, it definitely seems to be stronger, better than Cheetah was before. I'm just saying hit or miss in terms of, like, if he shines. Um, so, do our best to get some decent matches in. So, we'll see how this goes. Oh, oh, nice, nice. There we go. I think that was a Paragon, which is a pretty squishy one. Not too bad for Cheetah to deal with. Getting a little light on this side, it looks like. A couple dudes over there. There's got to be a few more. Okay, now there's three over there. There we go. Now the two are showing up for our side. 
Good. Oh, an Aries. Nice. Man. Look at those mines just take them out. Boom, boom, boom. That's good. That's good. We got one guy over here. Fleeced. Oh, we got a couple. Whoa. Peeked out and got away right at the right time. <laughs> Although we haven't taken much damage. We got most of our health, which is good. And uh, the cheetah can take a couple hits now. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, not enough on him. Hoping that we can get him or the oop, or the other guy to peek out or or you know trying to do the peekaboo method right where he, I just start making guys chase me. That's what I want so that I can uh, make them walk into my mines. I do think even though this is fun and it's good against AI, it's going to be trickier against players. Definitely going to have to have a a good viable strategy with it. But oh, nice, got another quick one in there. Almost got another guy. All right, nice. That went pretty well. Nothing, nothing super amazing, but not bad for uh, an outing after after getting the buffs. We'll take that one. Good deal. Thanks, Miss Trouble, for helping me with that one, my dear. All right, now we're doing a little tournament, and we got C Diggity, Akoi, Jo, and Bear Shark from my No Mercy brothers with me. I'm uh I'm thinking I probably won't do as well. Woo, going for a little ride. I'm thinking I probably won't do as well this time because these guys are running the powerhouse mechs, and uh, my cheetah is not going to do as good. But because they're here, I'm thinking. Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh, oh good, they saved me. Good. That's why you bring the powerhouse guys with you. Uh, for this map, this position is good. I think sitting up here and dropping them down. Um, you know, you get good protection. The only problem here is uh, if they bum rush you, if you get too many guys on you, or if uh, they're running rocket mortars, then you're you're going to have to find a new position. This is, this is a bit exposed for that. Um, and guys can creep up behind you. But since I have all my solid teammates with me, I should be good in this case. Yeah, Cheetah for me still tends to work better when you're when you're above so they can drop mines down. I feel like I can position them better. I have a little bit more of a, a range to throw them if I'm above stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at that, man. Took some shots to the back, dashed into, still didn't die. That is nuts. Crazy how good his health is. Oh, and I got some, I got some healing here. It's got to be Bear Shark. He runs the MD. Runs a nice one. Gotta love that. All right. Yeah, look at that. It's hard for me to get any kills. <laughs> I'll be the assist king on this one. Still a lot of fun, though. I mean, just, I, I don't know. A part of me thinks it's kind of crazy to actually be doing enough to stay alive throughout a match with Cheetah um, in most cases. I, I feel like before it was hard to do it. I've done it before, but it was very tricky, and it definitely has gotten a bit easier, so... All right, almost destroyed. Let's do one more round here. Sure, go right ahead. Sneaking. Oh, oh, that was from our guys. I was gonna say, oh, almost got hit, but yeah, the AIs don't run real guns. Not that I've ever seen. Although there is that one in the early, early, early stages where it's like the first level you play that the Juggernaut has one uh, real gun on, of course. But little Easter egg there. But it doesn't show up anywhere else. Uh, no. I thought that would be able to curve over. Oh, got this guy creeping up. An Aries over here. Whoa! What the heck was that? Did you guys see that? That was crazy. <laughs> that was like back in the old PC days when my voodoo card wouldn't see uh, DirectX graphics on it. Man, I'm, I'm running this on an iPhone. So, mobile device, that is weird. I've never seen that before. I don't know. I don't know if it's just this map or after the buffs. That's crazy. Everyone sees weird things that, that happen here and there. I was watching a stream that Honor Gaming does, and uh, he had a weird glitch where it actually, you know, he was doing custom matches. Oh, nice. Love it when you can creep right up in their face and do that. 
Um, and he ended up as a six versus four, like just because I put them on the wrong team. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, nice. Got the double there, sweet. It's a decent boom. Yeah, I've had some decent, decent shots today. Here and there where you can get some big booms, take out some big guys, groups of guys. Not bad at all. Oh, there it was again. Oh, it went away. Seeing the pink again, that was, yeah, that was interesting to see. Whoa! Holy cow! <laughs> that was really pink. That was nuts. I think that was from the Redox. That was crazy. Hey, we made podium. Nice. I'm surprised we even got a spot. Um, but yeah, my guys gave me good cover. Let me uh, let me have some fun. Nice run. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Those were a couple of matches. And yeah, overall, Cheetah seems like he's going to be pretty decent. He seems better. And we had some weird glitches. I don't know if you guys experienced those glitches at all with the, the purple or pink whatever stuff going on but if you have let me know and, and what was happening to you um i wasn't exactly sure what was happening but certain effects were happening to me but anyway yeah um i, I gotta say I, I think cheetah is pretty cool now i don't think he is going to be op and game breaking that's what people are talking about they're saying now that he has more hp than some other media mechs and his ability is super strong Everyone's going to be running Cheetah. He's super OP, and that's why they're doing this, so they can make more money. Um, yeah, he's definitely stronger, and on paper, this seems like a massive buff for sure. I mean, those stats are going to be killer once you get this guy maxed, but uh, is he going to be replacing other mechs? Like, that's the other thing I have to think about. Is he going to re be replacing Killshot or Zephyr in most hangers? I highly doubt it. At best, I think he is going to be one that contends for that fifth slot. Um, which is fine, and I think that's a good thing. I mean, a lot of people are, are, you know, figuring out, should I run a Shadow or should I run an Ares? But now Cheetah is actually in the mix in there, which is pretty cool, and that's what we want. I, I think this is bringing Cheetah up to the level that he should be. I don't think he's going to be um you know the next game breaking mech that everyone is going to use now yeah his minds are way more powerful but remember like we said in the is a good video a long time ago this is a more passive combat ability and it's one where unless you're dropping it directly kind of kamikaze style on guys many mechs have good ways to avoid this especially the most common ones that we see in game so overall i think this is a great change for cheetah but i don't think it makes him game breaking but feel free to let me know what you guys think below and we will see you out there on the battlefield.